हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ रमेश मसुना फैकल्टी एस इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज एंड एस इंजीनियरिंग एकेडमी टीचिंग डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम्स हियर इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द इंफोसिस सर्टिफिकेशन एग्जामिनेशन नोनली कॉल्ड इन्फीटीक्यू फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट डेटाबेस मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम हैव सीन द प्रीवियस इन्फीटीक्यू क्वेश्चन एंड फाउंड दैट all the questions are asking from the three topics that are normal forms structured query language and indexing in the round 1 of infitq examination there are 20 multiple choice questions in the 20 multiple choice questions nearly 10 questions are from database management system and those 10 questions are also asking from these three topics and among the three topics the majority questions are from structured query language when you look for the level of the questions the level of the questions are not too easy it is moderate to difficult level and the questions from sql are asking from the basics like uh, adding a columns deleting a column adding a constraints and also the concepts based on set manipulation operators group by and having classes joins are more important most of the questions are asked in the infitq papers are based on the joins and sub queries like nested queries and correlated queries some of such questions we will discuss so that we can easily understand we can you can able to guess what kind of questions are asking here is a question based on the normal forms look at the question consider the following relational schema teacher and allocation two schemas are given following are the functional dependencies here set of dependencies are given which of the following option is true for the relation given above now options are given the relation is in 2nf 1nf 2nf 3nf something like this we have to find normal form of the relation how to find normal form of a relation normal form of a relation will decide based on the functional dependencies and primary keys of the relation look at here in the teacher relation we have a dependency teacher id to designation this is one dependency and this is satisfying in the teacher table and designation is determining the salary that is also satisfying on the teacher table teacher id is determining the salary this is also satisfying on the teacher table and the fourth dependency teacher id subject is determining the classroom these three attributes are there in the allocation table so the dependency is satisfying in the allocation table by looking these dependencies in the teacher i can say teacher id is a primary key in the allocation i can say teacher id and subject together is a primary key because in the allocation there is only one dependency and its dependencies left hand side is a super key so that we can call allocation is in the bcnf if a relation is in bcnf we can also say is that it is satisfying the 3nf 2nf and 1nf look at teacher in teacher we have a primary key teacher id right? and we have a dependency designation is determining the salary designation is a non key salary is a non key this non key non key relationship we can call transitive dependency if transitive dependencies are there relation is in 2nf if it is in 2nf it is also in 1nf right oh now look at the question which of the following options is true for the relation given above teacher is in 2nf 2nf and 1nf and here option d given 3nf so it is in 2nf means but not in 3nf so d i can eliminate it and it is in 2nf means it is also in 1nf also so that a b c are the correct one with respect to teacher and do remember whenever a normal form of a relation is asked always we have to select the highest normal form condition so highest normal form condition is 2nf whenever some options are showing that 2nf is there but this 1nf option is incorrect so b is incorrect now we have to select either a or b 
Now, both A and B says the teacher is in 2NF. This is okay, correct. And now look at with respect to allocation. Allocation is in 1NF, correct. Allocation is in 3NF, correct. But normal form always requires to show the highest normal form condition satisfied by the relation. So that whenever 3NF is there, this 1NF we have to eliminate it. So A is wrong. So B is the correct answer for the question. And there are some questions based on the query languages and majority of the questions are from the query languages and have seen majority of the questions are on joins and questions based on the concepts like group by and having set manipulation operators and nested queries and correlated queries also. Here you look consider the table employee detail given below. This is a table given. And this query is based on group by and having classes. Select project department round. And here uh, I want to tell you one more thing. You have to focus on the SQL functions also, like round function, two care function, date functions, because I have seen some questions where these functions are by default it is using. So that you should aware of those SQL functions. Select project department round off average of EMP salary as average salary, sum of bonus as total bonus from employee detail group by project department. So what it is selecting project department and average salary, I am writing here AVG sal and last is total bonus. It is going to be select, right, total bonus from employee details group by project department. Always Query execution starts with the from class. This is the first step. These are the table data is going to be selected. Now group by project department. Now this table is divided into groups according to their project departments. Here, where is the project department? Here, finance, telecom, English. These are the three uh, project departments are there. These tuples to be divided into groups according to their project department. So all finance tuples will be in one group. Telecom tuples will be in one group, ENG department tuples will be in one group. So it is going to perform dividing the tuples into groups in the second step. And the third step, it is a having class. What is having class? Having is used to select a group. Look at what is a condition? Having average of EMP salary greater than 20,000 and sum of bonus greater than 5,000. Look at say finance we have two tuples. So, these two tuples are forming one group and what is the, what were the conditions? EMP salary, average EMP salary is greater than 20,000. Look at what is the average EMP salary? 27,000 and 27,000. Average EMP salary is 27,000 which is greater than 20,000. First condition is satisfied. And the second condition, sum of bonus greater than 500. Look at what is the bonus 400 and this is null, null is ignored. So sum of the bonus is 400 only but greater than 500 incorrect. So this finance group will not be in the output. Look for the telecom group. For telecom we have a three tuples. What are those EMP salaries 20,000s, 25,000s and 20,000s. When you take the average 65 by 3, 21,666. 6 point something. So, means 21,666 point something is greater than 20,000. First condition is true. And what are the bonuses? 300, null and 300. 300 plus 300, 600 greater than 500 is true. So, that this telecom group is going to be selected. So, project department is telecom and average salary is 21,666 point something. But here you look at that is rounded. Rounded means it will be rounded to the nearest integer that is 21,667 and what is the total bonus sum of the bonus is 600. This group is selected and for that group the output is going to be selected. This is the last step, fourth step and we have the tuples called English. Now for the English you can see what is the salaries 40, 50, 90 and 30, 120, 1. 20,000s. 120,000s, if you take average, that will be 40,000s, which is greater than 20,000s. First condition is true. And sum of the bonus, 
when you look the bonus 600 plus 700 and null null is ignored 6 plus 7 1300 greater than 500 correct so that tuple also going to be selected means that group is selected for that group the department is eng and the average emp salary is 40 thousands and the total bonus is 6 plus 7 1300 this is going to be the output so you have to evaluate the query according to the process of evaluation according to the order of evaluation if you know the order evaluating the query will become very easy here you should understood i think you understood how i am evaluating the query step by step if you focus on that evaluation process solving the query becomes easy this is an output of the query now what is asked when the above query is executed which of the following will appear as part of output and listen and understand the question carefully question is not asked about the output of the query it is asked which of the following will appear as part of the output what is there in the output of the query we have a telecom and eng department in the output so both telecom and eng is not there in any of the options and anyhow finance is not in the output eng is there in the output 40000 is an average salary 1300 is a total bonus it is part of the output b is the right answer because finance is not there do we have finance in the output look at finance is not in the output so that c is incorrect and because finance is not in the output d is also incorrect question is part of the output reading the question is also very important read the question carefully answer it according to the process of evaluation sql definitely plays an important role and as i told you third type of questions are based on indexing here have a look consider a table order with attributes order id primary key customer id order date quality quantity price and category columns customer id order date quantity category and price are not unique the table has two indexes as follows index 1 is on order id index 2 is on customer id and order date together the question is which of the following queries will result in index range scan means which queries requires to scan based on indexes so query that search the tuples based on the attributes on which we have an index that requires to have an index scan otherwise it requires a table scan look at option a category equal to bulk order do we have index on category first thing we do not have index on category because we do not have index on category it requires to scan the table not to scan the index so a is incorrect b customer id we have an index on customer id and order date we have index on customer id and order date together so that it requires to search on the index so b is the correct one here in the question you observe it is clearly given choose two correct options more than one option is correct so b is correct and c customer id equal to c1002 okay we have a index on customer id and quantity greater than 5 but do we have a index on quantity no because we don't have index on quantity with respect to quantity it requires to scan the table not the index so c is incorrect look at the last one where order id equal to 0909 we have an index with respect to order id it requires to search the index it requires to scan the index and customer id equal c1002 because we have index with respect to customer id and order date so customer id is there it requires to search with respect to the index so d is also correct option so what is the correct answer for the question b and d these are the kind of questions asking in the InfiTQ papers and have seen many InfiTQ papers of the previous years. In all the InfiTQ papers, there are only three types of questions are asking that is normal forms questions, SQL questions and indexing questions and among them also majority of the questions are from SQL questions. And you focus on these three topics and solve as many questions as possible keep in mind the process keep in mind the concept that is required for answering the question so that you can easily 
solve that 10 questions which are coming in the round 1 examination. Among the 20 questions of MCQs, nearly 10 questions are from DBMS. All the DBMS questions you can able to solve easily with a little practice. Wish you good luck. Thank you.